I'm going to show you how you can add a picture and adding images. It's very easy. You can select from images that they gave you, their clip art. Otherwise, you can have your own images that you've made or downloaded, whatever it is, copied. So right now, you can click on this button here, insert image, insert an image. Otherwise, click on the insert image. So now it's going to bring up a little menu. You can switch between your images, which is going to be a folder on your computer. Somewhere in your computer that you have your pictures stored, you have to find that folder. And then if you want to do clip art, you can select, I have 2,539 2, images that I got just from downloading all those templates, arrows, and you know backgrounds, babies, all sorts of stuff. Um, there's just a lot of pictures in here, some good, some bad, but you'll find that you can divide it in categories, backgrounds, bars, uh, bullets, pretty self-explanatory here. And then subtypes are like if you want just arrows for bullets or you want numbers. So those are some of the things you can do. Well, let's go to my images. I'm going to show you how to add one of your own images. So right now I'm going to look for the folder that has the image I want. So I know it's on my desktop because that's where I saved it. And um, it's called Pix Demo. So you just double click that folder and here's some images. You can click and it's going to bring them up. Okay, well, here's a picture of me and my wife. She's pretty. I know that, but I'm going to use this picture. Let's hit OK. All right, there we go. It's imported this picture. Now we can move this picture to wherever we want. We can situate this text, move this picture right in the center. We can also resize it by just grabbing these arrows. It's very easy. It's going to stay proportioned if I grab those corners. I recommend if you have pictures resizing them in a photo program first not relying so much on this um, because sometimes when you shrink you can lose some of the quality but that is how you can add a picture very easily and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna add a logo quick too so click on image let's click on logo and I'm gonna add the how to make a website logo so there we go we're gonna highlight these two highlight these two right here move those down and we're going to put that right on the top. So there we go. We have our our header logo and a picture of me and my wife and some text. So it's really easy to do. This is what makes uh, this program so powerful.